Welcome to GTC. I hope all of you are well. We have really big announcements and cool things to show you today. Accelerated computing. At data center scale and combined with machine learning has sped up computing by a million X. Today, we are announcing the next generation. The engine of the world's AI computing infrastructure makes a giant leap. Introducing NVIDIA H100. The H100 is a massive 80 billion transistor chip using TSMC 4N process. H100 is the first PCI Express Gen 5 GPU. A single H100 sustains 40 terabits per second of IO bandwidth. To put it in perspective, 20 H100s can sustain the equivalent of the entire world's internet traffic. The Hopper architecture is a giant leap over Ampere. Introducing the DGX H100, our new AI computing system. DGX has been spectacularly successful and is the AI infrastructure for eight of the top 10 and 44 of the Fortune 100. Connected by NVLink, DGX makes the eight H100s into one giant GPU. 640 billion transistors, 32 petaflops of AI performance, 640 gigabytes of HBM3, and 24 terabytes per second of memory bandwidth. DGX H100 is a spectacular leap. And there's more. We have a brand new way to scale up DGX. We can connect up to 32 DGXs with NVLink. Today, we're announcing the NVIDIA NVLink switch system. For AI factories, DGX is the smallest unit of computing. With NVLink switch systems, we can scale up into one giant 32 node, 256 GPU DGX pod. Multiple H100 DGX pods connect to our new Quantum 2 400 gigabits per second InfiniBand switch with sharp in-network computing, performance isolation, and congestion control to scale to DGX superpods with thousands of H100 GPUs. DGX superpods are modern AI factories. We are building EOS, the first Hopper AI factory at NVIDIA, and she's going to be a beauty. 18 DGX pods, 576 DGXs, 4,608 H100 GPUs. We expect EOS to be the fastest AI computer in the world. This is the H100 CNX. Combining the most advanced GPU and the most advanced networking processor, CX7, into a single module. Data from the network is DMA directly to H100 at 50 gigabytes per second and avoids the bottlenecks at the CPU, system memory, and multiple passes across the PCI Express. Let me update you on Grace, our first data center CPU. I am pleased to report that Grace is progressing fantastically and on track to ship next year. We designed Grace to process giant amounts of data. Grace will be the ideal CPU for AI factories. And this is Grace Hopper, a single super chip module with direct chip to chip connection between the CPU and GPU. NVIDIA SDKs with CUDA libraries are the heart and soul of accelerated computing. We updated 60 SDKs with more features and acceleration at this GTC. The same NVIDIA systems you own just got faster. So go to NGC, NVIDIA GPU Cloud, and download our SDKs and frameworks that are full stack optimized and data center scale accelerated. Omniverse is scalable from RTX PCs to large systems. RTX PCs connected to someone hosting Omniverse Nucleus are sufficient for creative collaboration. Industrial digital twins, however, need a new type of purpose-built computer. We need to create a synchronous data center. 
just as we have DGX for AI, we now have OVX for Omniverse. And the NVIDIA Spectrum 3, 200 gigabits per second switch fabric, connects 32 OVX servers to form the OVX SuperPod. OVX servers are now available from the world's top computer makers. And for customers wanting to try Omniverse on OVX, NVIDIA launch pads are located around the world. Generation 1 OVX are running at NVIDIA and early customers. We are building our second generation OVX, starting with the backbone. Today, we're introducing the Spectrum 4 switch at 51.2 terabits per second. The 100 billion transistor Spectrum 4 is the most advanced switch ever built. This is the world's first 400 gigabits per second end-to-end -end networking platform. Drive is our autonomous vehicle system. It's essentially an AI chauffeur. As with all of our platforms, NVIDIA Drive is full stack, end-to-end, -end, and open for developers to use in whole or in parts. Hyperion 8 is the hardware architecture of our self-driving car. And it's what we build our entire drive platform on. It consists of sensors, networks, two chauffeur AV computers, one concierge AI computer, a mission recorder, and safety and cybersecurity systems. And it's open. Hyperion 8 can achieve full self-driving with a 360-degree camera, radar, LiDAR, and ultrasonic sensor suite. Hyperion 8 will ship in Mercedes-Benz cars starting in 2024, followed by Jaguar Land Rover in 2025. Today, we're announcing Hyperion 9 for cars shipping starting in 2026. Hyperion 9 will have 14 cameras, 9 radars, 3 LIDARs, and 20 ultrasonics. Overall, Hyperion 9 will process twice the amount of sensor data compared to Hyperion 8 further enhancing safety and extending the operating domains of full self-driving. Welcome, Daniel. I see a text from Hubert asking, can you pick me up from the San Jose Civic? Should I take you there? Yes, please. Okay, taking you to San Jose Civic. Start drive pilot. Okay, starting drive pilot. Can you let Hubert know we're on our way? Sure, I'll send him a text. NVIDIA Drive Map is a multimodal map engine and includes camera, radar, and LIDAR. You can localize to each layer of the map independently which provides diversity and redundancy for the highest level of safety. DriveMap has two map engines, ground truth survey mapping and crowdsourced fleet mapping. By the end of 2024, we expect to map and create a digital twin of all major highways in North America, Western Europe, and Asia. NVIDIA Orin has been enormously successful. Orin is the ideal centralized AV and AI computer, and is the engine of new generation EVs, robo-taxis, shuttles, and trucks. Orin started shipping this month. Now with Clara Holoscan and NVIDIA Index, we can visualize the entire large volume of living cells in real time as the data is being recorded directly from the microscope. Clara Holoscan is an open, scalable robotics platform. Holoscan development platforms are available for early access customers today, general availability in May, and medical grade readiness in Q1 2023. Future medical devices will be AI instruments assisting diagnostics or surgery. Just as NVIDIA Drive is a platform for robotic vehicles, Clara Holoscan is a platform for robotic medical instruments. NVIDIA's robotics platforms consist of Metropolis and Isaac. Isaac is a platform for things that move. Metropolis is a stationary robot tracking moving things. 
One of the fastest growing segments of robotics is AMR, autonomous mobile robots, essentially driverless cars for indoors. Today, we have a major release of Isaac, Isaac for AMRs. Isaac for AMRs, like the drive platform, has four major pillars, each individually available and completely open. New NVIDIA DeepMap for ground truth generation. NVIDIA AI for training models. A reference AMR robot powered by Orin. New gems in the Isaac robot stack. And the new Isaac Sim on Omniverse. First, Isaac Nova. Like Drive Hyperion, is a reference AMR robot system on which the entire Isaac stack is built. Nova has two cameras two LiDARs, eight ultrasonics, and four fisheye cameras for teleoperation. We're announcing Jetson Orin developer kits are available today. Successful development, training, and testing of complex robots for real-world applications demand high-fidelity simulation and accurate physics. Built on NVIDIA's Omniverse platform, Isaac Sim combines immersive, physically accurate, photorealistic environments with complex virtual robots. Our customers in robotics and industrial automation are realizing the importance of digital twins and are doing amazing things in Omniverse. You can see how important Omniverse is throughout NVIDIA's work in AI and robotics. The next wave of AI, robotic systems, needs a platform like Omniverse. We want Omniverse to reach every one of the tens of millions of designers, creators, roboticists, and AI researchers. So today, we are announcing Omniverse Cloud. Omniverse for the next wave of AI.